Monday Night Football best bets. Here we go. Welcome to Juice Bets. My name is Trevor. And yeah, I mean, this weekend was great. Super excited to continue it into Monday Night Football. Uh, both Saturday and Sunday, super profitable days for the Juice Bets community, the VIPs, and obviously myself as well. Um, yeah, really, really nice with both straight betting and our daily fantasy plays on prize picks, underdog parlay play, both Saturday and Sunday college and NFL were super, super profitable. So we're looking forward to this Monday and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at prize picks and see what kind of slips we can find here and, and place our best bets for, uh, for Monday Night Football for the Jets and Bills game. And yeah, hopefully you guys can get these in and tail as well, because as always, these are all plus EV, profitable, sharp picks uh, based off of math and data. But before we get into the picks, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Tons of tips and tricks on plus EV betting, profitable, sharp sports betting coming over the next six months. Uh, and obviously also uh, plus EV picks um, being posted as well. So, okay, here we go, let's get into the video. So before we get into the pick, uh, I just want to lay a little bit of groundwork on prize picks uh, for our plus EV betting strategy. So with prize picks, um, we, you know, we're looking at a platform that if you take, you know, more or less the payout, right? The three X payout here is going to stay the same, right? So on, on prize picks, we're parlaying these player props together, but it's a fixed payout platform, regardless of what side you're taking the you know it's going to stay the same right and so that allows us to find value in the market and and find plays that are heavily or at least slightly favored right to go either over or under and we simply put them into our parlay because we're being paid out as if they are you know close to even money so on prize picks you're being paid out as if each leg is minus 119 so simply you want to find plays that are more favored than that right and then if you put those into your slip basically over time you're going to be profitable because you're being paid out as if they're not as favored you're being paid out more than you should be right so what we want to do on prize picks is find the best obviously the best plays but we want to structure it uh, the most profitable we can, right? And so on prize picks, um, after doing some math, we have found that uh, five man and six man flex plays on prize picks is the way to go. So let's look at this. Let's find a couple plays here. And what we will find is that um, obviously on prize picks, you are able to do uh, flex plays, right? And that means that if you get, you know, all five correct, you'll get a 10x. If you get four out of five, you'll actually get a 2x. So you'll still win money even if you don't get all five correct, which is great. And even a three out of five, you'll actually make back, you know, 0.4x. So you'll you'll make a little bit back, right? You're still going to lose, you know, uh, 0.6 of what, of what you put in, but you still actually get paid paid back for a three out of five. So that's something to keep in mind, uh, and that that does go into you know our calculations on on what is the most profitable way to do this. But long story short, the best way to do it is a five man flex and also a six man flex, right? Because on a six flex, you're getting a 25x for the six. And uh, same thing, 2x if you get five out of six and a 0.4 if you get four out of six. So for our plays, we're going to look at Odds Jam and Daily Grind Fantasy, their optimizers to, to find some profitable plays for us, okay? So let's pull that up right now and we will refresh this and look at the optimizer. So basically what we do here is, is on, on Daily Grind Fantasy, we can find favored plays, right? And same thing with Odds Jam, right? Odds Jam, a great platform to find straight bets, middles, arbitrage, you know, basically the plus EV betting hub. Uh, but they have a fantasy optimizer as well and, and, and they find you profitable plays. So let's look at an example before we actually start building out this slip. Stefan Diggs, under six receptions is what, what, what the optimizer is calling for. It's saying that the implied odds or the fair odds for Stefan Diggs to go under this is minus 132. And as I mentioned before, prize picks is giving us implied odds of minus 119. So we're getting a play that is way more favored than we're being paid for, right? And so that means that we're going to catch value. We're going to get paid more over time and we're going to be profitable. 
So, but why is this a favored play? Well, let's look at this. So six under six receptions is a play. Now let's look at these other uh, sports books here, the sharpest sports books in the world, right? We've got Pinnacle, FanDuel, DraftKings, Caesars, uh, MGM, right? And as we can see on Pinnacle, his 5.5 is under 5.5 is plus 105, right? his uh, un under 6.5 is minus 162. So if we were to fight, basically find the middle, right, the six receptions, he would be somewhere around minus 135, minus 140 or so. Then you remove the VIG, you remove the tax that sportsbooks put on the lines, and this is how we get this number, right? So clearly, Stefan Diggs is favored to go under this reception total. Same, very similar thing with Garrett Wilson here, right? You can see 5.5 on Pinnacle at about plus 108. And same thing on, on FanDuel. He's at 5.5 at about even money. So if we get him at six, we're getting an extra half point and he will be significantly favored. Okay, so that's how it works. That's how we find these plays. Now let's build out a slip for Monday Night Football. It's not gonna all be football. Uh, we will try, We will get these two plays in there and we'll also, we can also find this Alan Lazard play here. So this Lazard play, under 3.5 receptions, as you can see, on Pinnacle, minus 130. On FanDuel, minus 158. DraftKings, minus 145. So we're getting a lot of data points saying that clearly Lazard is, is favored to go under 3.5 receptions. Okay, so let's do this first. We will go to the receptions total because that's what we're going to be, um, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be doing, right? As we can see, the a bunch of these were, you know, were plus EV. So uh, these guys are all under, right? So we're taking all under. Now, in general, this is very correlated, right? Because we're taking um, basically the top three receivers in this game are going all under this total. So what you, what you could do and what would make sense would be to take Josh Allen under, right? And take Aaron Rodgers under because we're taking Wilson under, Diggs under, and Lazard under. So obviously these are the main weapons for Allen and Rodgers to be throwing to. And so if they aren't catching very many balls, then clearly Allen and Rodgers are probably going to go under as well. And to take it even further, instead of taking the passing yards, we could look at pass attempts or pass completions. Completions might be a better one to do, right? We could do this. We could take the under on pass completions for both of these guys here, right? Now, you have to keep in mind, though, that when you do correlate a slip like this, where it's receptions and completions, prize picks will actually change the payout, right? As you can see right here, they will shift that payout down to a 6x instead of a 10x. So we don't necessarily want to do that because we want to always make sure that we're being paid out that 10x because that's what these odds, that's what the plus EV odds are being calculated by. So let's remove that. Let's see if we can put in Allen under pass yards and see if that will change it. Okay, so it's still a 5x. Let's see if, if we do both Rogers and Allen under, it's a 5x, right? So we can't fully correlate this on on prize picks. However, there are other platforms that you can do that. And we'll have videos on that in the future. But so this is what we're doing here. We're going to go under. So we're thinking that this game is going to go going to go under, right? There's not going to be very many completions, not very many receptions. But let's just go back to the optimizer and look for a couple more plays that we can slot into the slip and make it a five man. Okay. So first of all, I like this Dane Dunning play here in the MLB under 16.5 outs. On Pinnacle, his 15.5 is favored, right? So clearly the 16.5 is a really nice play. So we will take Dunning to go under 16.5 outs. Switch over to MLB. Take Dunning under 16.5 outs. And let's just find one more play to put in here and we will be on our way. So I like this one. Logan Gilbert over four hits allowed, uh, minus 125. 4.5 on all the other books at about even money. So we're getting a nice, you know, a nice half point of value here, which makes it nice and favored. So Logan Gilbert to go over four hits allowed will be our final play in this slip here. There we go. And we will place that. And so what we'll do, as we always do, is we're going to copy this slip and we're going to send it in our Discord server to our VIPs. And what will happen is they will be notified you know, on their phone 
that we place this slip and we're going to be sending a link so they can easily tail it with this link and so they basically just click on the link and it will pull up uh, prize picks and so the slip will be will be entered immediately and they just put in the amount that they want to bet right so it's the easiest way to tail plus ev picks and we just post this in here and as you can see people are coming in and they're they're hammering this they're hammering this play so that's how you know it, it, that's how we you know we feed slips to our vips and you know i have a link down below it's a seven day free trial to come in check out the server we post plays for prize picks underdog parlay play jock market hot streak boosts straight bets correlations everything you could want as a plus ev better gets posted in this server and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you did tail this slip and we'll see you guys next time